Looks like Nvidia's plan is definitely working. Today, I'm going to give you a different opinion on the RTX 4090 you may not really hear elsewhere. Now, there's no way to argue against the massive performance that the 4090 is providing. From all of the reviews and benchmarks we've seen today, it seems like a really incredible performance difference even compared to the 3090 Ti. Even if we try to criticize it based on the power that it puts out, it's hard to do so because it's putting out so much performance for that wattage and that power, not to mention every single metric seems to have gone up. Even the Founders Edition, which in the past has had some sketchy type of, you know, cooling performance from the reviews I've seen so far seem to stay actually pretty cool and without having any, um, you know, type of issues. So as of right now, it seems like the RTX 4090 is going to be an extremely dominant GPU. The performance gains are unreal. Like look at this Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K. This is without DLSS by the way. This is just like a pure gaming performance. Went up like literally four times as much. You cannot argue with this type of performance. It is really incredible. It's some of the best performance uplift that we've seen in many, many generations. I don't even think the 1080 Ti had this type of performance uplift, especially if you consider that now we're deep into 4K territory. 4090 is a GPU that's gonna absolutely crush 4K at 60 FPS. And with things like DLSS 3.0, which we're yet to see really better results of, I'm sure that's gonna be easy 100 to 120 FPS. FPS plus, but really impressive how even without the LSS, pure rasterization, this GPU is really, really much better than I think even people expected Nvidia to make it. And this is where the problem comes in. Nvidia is normalizing a hyper expensive GPU as really the new normal. This insane performance is all on purpose. You can bet if the GPU market wasn't bad like it is now with Nvidia holding on to really legions of RTX 3000 GPUs use that it can't sell because crypto mining ended gaming demand has been down their you know their, their quarterly losses are definitely staggering compared to what they were making all of these factors make them pump up this GPU to these levels. They could have easily artificially limited this GPU so it didn't perform this well, but they're doing the opposite. They're making it so it's really difficult for you, the high-end enthusiast, the gamer who would have the budget to buy this, to second guess buying this GPU. AMD didn't think this far ahead with AM5. During its release, it was just a couple of people at my local Micro Center store that even bought the 7950X. If if that was something that was you know hyped up more or had more performance to dollar you can expect there to be a lot more people but even high-end enthusiasts didn't really see a reason for it now a gpu is different you do get more performance in games and content creation than you would typically with a cpu but regardless it's obvious here nvidia press the power button you could say the panic button for them basically this is the strategy release a gpu that's so superior to everything else on the market and absolutely crushes the flagship 3090 Ti of previous generation that people can't really critique it. Even if you start to critique it in terms of its price, which is an easy thing to do, $1599 for a GPU is definitely pretty bonkers. That's why it's wrong. NVIDIA is normalizing this type of performance as what you should aspire to in the mainstream. It used to be the Titan, which only a few people would really be interested in, and you still had a high-end gaming GPU at like $700, like we had the 3080. 80 as you know closely as last generation so this isn't even a strategy that you have to go all the way back to the 1080 ti back then and with the 2080 ti that was an expensive gpu but then you had the titan which was more if people wanted it but now it seems like the 4090 is the new normal in terms of the high-end gpu and everything else is just going to be a bit compromised in fact we don't even have a mid-range or lower end gpu in the rtx 4000 yet basically nvidia is using rtx 3000 to fill in that void and it makes sense like i said they have a lot of rtx 3000 gpus still in inventory ready to be sold so by making the rtx 4090 extremely powerful it definitely does a couple of things it makes people that would have been otherwise on the fence want to go buy this gpu i know a lot of people are now wondering if the launch tomorrow is going to be sold out because before people thought it was going to be like the zen 4 launch maybe a couple people would go but they're getting a lot of shipment of this GPU. That's another factor to keep in mind. They're making a lot of these
is available a lot more than the 3090. From things that I've heard from stores like Micro Center, they're getting as much as maybe like three to four times the stock that they got of 3090s early on. So definitely something's going on here. The 3090, I never thought Nvidia expected to sell that much in the beginning. They really didn't. If you look at sort of the, you know, the numbers that they had in inventory, but as crypto mining picked up during, you know, 2020 and they saw the 3090 was a lot more profitable to sell, they definitely prioritized that GPU above everything else. That's why you didn't really see 3080s in stock all that often, but you would see 3090s all the time because they would sell out. And of course, Nvidia prefers to sell out an expensive GPU. So now going into the 4090, they're leading with that strategy. They're saying here, buy the most expensive GPU. They even crippled the cheaper 4080 12 gigabyte, which should be a 4060 Ti or 4070. So that's going to keep high-end gamers away from that GPU, but it still gives Nvidia a cheaper, you know, under a thousand price point that they can talk about. And the 4080 16 gigabyte, I'm assuming is also going to perform really, really well when we eventually see it. But of course, the 4090 certainly is going to steal the show, and that's by design. NVIDIA wants to make it so good that nobody can really criticize it. Even if you look at the price, you can say, well, it's only about, you know, a little bit more than the 3090 was, and you're getting a huge increase in performance, and it's not even just ray tracing this time. Before, you could usually say, yeah, the new GPU does have, you know, double or triple the performance, but it's only in ray tracing. Now, it's in everything, even traditional rasterization is many x times better you can see by cyberpunk three to four times better that's not even with the lss no tricks here it's just simply that much more powerful and nvidia is going to use that to make it so people want to buy it more than you know anything else literally of course that's also going to put very very heavy competition on amd i'm not sure if rdna3 is going to be able to match this performance they're going to have to have some really aggressive pricing if their performance is not near this because at the end of the day, if the 4090 is performing this well in general with content creation has 24 gigabytes of VRAM also, that's something we didn't mention, that's always there. And if it's going to perform rasterization fantastically and it's going to do ray tracing the best on the market, our DNA 3, if the rasterization is even a little worse, but the ray tracing is significantly worse, I'm not sure if people are really going to go for that, even high-end gamers. They're going to have to price it extremely aggressively and have it actually be available for it to be a legitimate option. So that's certainly something else that NVIDIA's plan will accomplish, keeping the competition really, really far away. Certainly the 4090 being this powerful makes it very difficult for AMD to compete. They may come close in traditional rasterization or even beat it in some games like they did with the 3090, but ray tracing is going to start to be more and more of a problem because now the 4090 can actually do ray tracing uh, over 60 frames per second in 4k without any problems and people are going to start to want to do that because it's going to be the next sort of level graphical level next generation gpus so amd is going to start to have some trouble if they're going to fall back they're always going to have a little asterisk by their name yeah it's a little bit cheaper and in most games it does perform pretty close but if you want to do ray tracing or any new technology it's going to fall very short of nvidia's offering so we're going to have to see what actually happens but nvidia's plan is working make the 4090 as good as possible really not too much to critique aside from it you know it's an expensive gpu but even that it makes sense for the power that it sort of has and the performance so even on that front makes it hard to critique it's going to be interesting to see what happens tomorrow at launch if stock is readily available it just means it's way too expensive even with the great performance and nvidia's plan perhaps is not as foolproof as they may think it is but if it sells out and this type of environment without any crypto miners and probably scalpers are going to be gone as well there may be a few that still try but i really don't think they're going to be that big of a deal going into this sort of gpu launch just because it's so expensive already and the gpu market has really been deflated the last few months and i think availability should be decent for the rtx 4090 but that's only what we've heard so far with stock coming in and stores seems to be pretty high we're going to have to see the demand for it though this is going to be purely high-end gamer demand is it going to be able to 
sustain the type of numbers that we saw before? I don't personally think so, but it may still sell out early on. The performance is definitely there. I don't blame anybody that gets a 4090. I want to get one myself. The performance is just too good to pass up. But at the end of the day, we're going to have to see if this new pricing of GPU is really something that people want to stomach and what other GPUs that come out are going to provide in terms of their price to performance. All right, guys, let me know if you're going to get a 4090 down below. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.